Hi, and welcome to this short content bite which discusses how the enthalpy of reaction is affected by the change in temperature. We are well used to be able to determine enthalpies of reaction from Hess's law, but those tabulated values are only valid at a single temperature, what we chemists refer to as room temperature, although it usually isn't, 25 degrees C, or 298 Kelvin if you prefer. We have seen previously when we look at heat capacity, that as the temperature of a system rises, so does the enthalpy. This occurs for both reactants and products. However, they change at different rates because the heat capacities of reactants and products are almost certainly different. For moderate changes of temperature, maybe up to 100 Kelvin, the change in the enthalpy of reaction may be determined by one of Kirchhoff's laws. Namely, the enthalpy of my reaction at my new temperature is the enthalpy at my known temperature plus the difference in heat capacities of their products and reactants times by the temperature difference. The reason this is only true for a limited temperature range is because we are assuming that the heat capacity itself is not dependent upon temperature. Other versions of this equation exist which use calculus to better model this over large temperature ranges which account for variation in heat capacity, but given most chemistry occurs in solvents which have limited practical temperature range, I've chosen to just consider the simpler model of Kirchhoff. Since we are using enthalpy, I must use the heat capacity at constant pressure and we can adjust the internal energy for changes in temperature using the heat capacity at constant volume in a similar way. We will see later in the course that the entropy of reaction is also dependent upon the temperature and consequently the heat capacity of reaction. For now, I hope that this video has been useful and please feel free to ask me questions if you have some.